How we doing, gang? I'm, I'm making this video here. It's uh, about demons. I'm just telling you about one interaction that I've had with them. Um, obviously, if you've seen my testimony, you know that I've been ripped apart by them in hell. And now that's a, a realness on another level, okay, in that vision. But through when I was lost here, okay, anybody out there that's been lost, so you're in drugs and alcohol or any of these things into the occult, looking into any kind of past life, regression, or any of this stuff, astral travel, you start to open up doors to um, the other side, whether you like it or not. You're messing around with Ouija boards or um, trying to catch EVPs, any of that stuff. You're opening doors up. And these things from the other side are coming in, okay? So, obviously, in my search for God, I didn't know how to find God, and I was lost. And uh, my family had come up in the uh, occult, basically, in a lot of um, instances. So that's what I knew, and I, I was very lost in how to find him. So, I used to be... Um, it was nothing for me to feel spirits around me all the time. I, I've seen ghosts and things like this in my life, you know, so these things haven't been anything that would shock me and, ah, you know, scare me or anything like that. This one night, uh, my wife had went to bed, my kids were in bed, and uh, astral travel is basically spiritual warfare, you know. Um, when you dream, spiritual warfare, where you're aware in your dreams, where you're tempted in your dreams, um, many people aren't aware of this. For those who have been through it, you'll understand what I'm saying. But this is my point. The demons were around me and at night time. I would feel them all the time, you know, just surround me. And most of the time I liked it. When I was high and all that, I didn't care, you know, because I knew that it was the other side. I knew that they were powerful in a sense. I knew that I could, you know, the more that I had around me, the more power I had, it seemed, you know. Um, but in a bad way, obviously. And I mean, their power is nothing compared to God's, right? And I mean, the devil is not a creator okay he's an imitator and basically God has the power okay there's nothing that could ever equal the power of God everything else is just you know falls by the wayside but the little power that Satan will give you on this earth a lot of people um, run for it and they like it and cherish it and you do feel that inside you you can feel that spiritual energy how you are more powerful so this night, you know, I was trying to fight and, and stay away from these, uh, letting these demons take me over, whatever. And uh, I, I was watching TV. I was irritated. Uh, I just had given up that night, you know. I, I just went off to shut the TV off, went to bed and said, you know, I'm just going to let them, uh, I, I don't care what happens tonight in my dreams. I, I don't care. I'll just sit in my dreams. I'll go off and, you know, all these different temptations come to me. I, I could care less, whatever. So I laid down and I could feel the energy coming down on me, on my person from my, like, up near my ceiling fan on the, on the ceiling, right? So I could just feel it coming down on me. These, you know, whatever you want to call it, spirits, demons, I could feel the, it's like a, I can't explain it, it's just a, like the air is thick, you can feel it's coming down and just as they were right in front of me, I could just feel it spiritually. And uh, with my last breath, and I still don't even know where this came from because I, I really had no conscious thing to say this because I had given up at that point. But these words came out of my mouth, and I quote, I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. With my last breath, I just said that. And this scream originated. It was so loud. It was like, ah! But it was like, it was a girl's voice. It was very high pitched and so scary. But I mean, it originated right here in my face, an inch away from my nose. It was like, ah, and shot up towards the ceiling fan, out my bedroom door, out through the kitchen and went, boom. It was like breaking through some barrier or something, you know, when it hit that be um, uh, kitchen. And... Um, I mean, I wasn't shocked, shocked, because I knew these spirits were always around me. I could feel them all the time. I had invited them in, right? I was talking to them on EVPs, all this. But I was, uh, I was taken back a little that it was such a scream in this physical world that we live in. You know, so I instantly knew that this demon that was already coming on me had 
total faith that they were going to take me over that night. But that last breath and that phrase came out of my mouth, I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. And that demon screamed in pain. And I mean shot up, out the door, and boom, right through that, into the other world or whatever that was, the barrier. So my wife is next to me, right? And I say, she had been laying down for a little bit, so I'm like, did you hear that? And she said some words I can't go through again, you know, uh, at that time, you know. Obviously, different things come out of your mouth. She had a couple choice words, and uh, the point is, she heard exactly what I had been through right there. She heard me say that. She heard the scream, and it was cool to me because I was like, all right, at least that's just a little thing lets her know this is real, you know. The Bible says, you know, we don't fight against flesh and blood. We fight against the principalities, the evil spirits. I mean, they are truly around us. And that's my only point to you with this story is it was a cool story because the devil exposed himself in it. By that demon screaming, my wife was able to hear it. And now she understood even more of what our opposition is and that it is real and right there. Most people who are under spiritual attack... If you don't believe in spiritual attack, then how can you fight? How can you fight something when you don't even know you're in a fight? How can you win a war that you don't even know you're in a war? You can't. Just think you're having bad luck repeatedly or this or that. That's not it. If you walk through your life and, and you you know, you know give your life to Christ, okay? And I mean you sold out. Because if you just want to, I'm a Christian, and then go along and live your worldly life, well, that's just lip service. But if you're truly walking with Him and chasing Him, then you're going to see, you're going to have these oppositions. It's real. It's there. He says it in the Bible. You know, when you go through different stories where Jesus is healing the sick and, you know, the paralytic and all these, he's also casting demons out. You know, demons are very real. In this world today, you know, you talk about a demon, they want to put you in a rubber room. You know what I mean? But the truth is, it is real, guys. And that's what we fight against is that principality of evil spirits and, and the other side. And if we could see what was around us, we would die of fear, die of fright. I can tell you that that phrase, I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ, I say that all the time, every day. Countless times a day I say that. And, I, you know, a lot of people watch this video who've messaged me privately, and, and you know I've told you to say that because when I said that, I heard demons scream in pain, in agony, just by his name. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ. I mean, just by his name, they had to go. Pain. So it is a real thing. Calling on Jesus' name is so powerful. And when I was in hell, I called on Jesus, the name Jesus, and he came and helped me. So a lot of people get it um, to where I would just warn, be careful with what name you're calling. Whatever name you're calling him, okay. You know, if you want to say Yeshua, Yahushua, Yeshua, Jesus, whatever it is. It's translations. I'm just telling you from my heart, don't get caught up in separating from another brother or sister because they may say Jesus and this one says Yeshua or we don't know their heart. Don't let that get um, break us apart. I see that out there a little bit. And uh, he knows our hearts. Okay, He knows how hard this place is and he knows this is a diabolical plan that has been in place for thousands of years. And it's coming to a head now, and time is short. There's no possible way to do we're going to ever have full truth here. Just try and do your best. Keep it simple. Call on Jesus and stay with him. And protect yourself, guys, with the armor of God. And make sure that you protect yourself. My advice to you is to protect yourself spiritually every day. You wake up. Put on the armor of God. When you're going to go out into society, protect yourself. Say a prayer with you and your family. You know what I'm saying? Put a spiritual warfare prayer on you so that the Holy Spirit encompasses you, you know, like a force field. You know what I'm saying? May the blood of Jesus be surrounding you with, so no one can come against you with any hex or vex or curse or steal any of your energy or anything like that. Have, you, have anybody ever been, did you ever feel real good and walk into a room and within five minutes you feel like you could fall asleep, you know, or you were very awake and you went somewhere or around somebody and all of a sudden you can just fall asleep and you, you don't you know you're thinking what what happened where's my energy like this is spiritual attack you know or or it's, it could even be somebody out there who is 
not a believer who's against Jesus and you know who's of any kind of magic or whatever taking your energy so these things are all very prevalent in society and when you go out into a mall atmosphere or any kind of public area you are at you know someone else's disposal if they can see spiritually they can see okay well this one this one that they have eyes to see so there's a lot of people out there who practice magic and things like that putting your self you know in full prayer and covering yourself with the blood you know ask Jesus blood to inebriate you and to protect you and your family wherever you go and to bring you home safely and so on and so forth praying in the spiritual I can't express to you enough protect yourself that what so when you walk that nothing's going to affect you and you will see that it works alright guys I just wanted to tell you these demons are real it's not some you know not some made up thing and we really have to stick with Christ every day pray and you know what for the parents out there pray for your children and build that foundation strong because you're going to turn those children over and they're going to have to go you know 60 70 80 years with the foundation you gave them and add to it they have to know about Christ and you have to stay together as a family and pray together because every which way the devil's trying to come into that household and pull you away from each other cause a wedge separate them we gotta stay with Jesus and I'll tell you this no matter what this song uh, I heard this song the other day I went to a Phillies game and uh, they had like these uh, I think it was a Baptist choir there or something and they were jamming and uh, they were they had a song God's got it and it was like whatever you need God's got it and you know it just stuck in my head like you have that problem we all have something we all have things we're praying on and we're struggling with no matter what it is give it to God because God's got it you know what I'm saying don't don't go calling everybody hey what about this hey how about this this is my situation give it to God forget about other people give it to the Creator give it to the one who's gonna take it who can help us who has that ability and it just made perfect sense you know God's got it so anyway if you got a problem, give it to God. He's got it. Don't worry about tomorrow because he's there. Protect yourselves and your families, guys, and put that protection of Jesus Christ around you because there are people out there who seek to destroy you. And uh, not only people, but demons. And If you think that you go through a day without being spiritually attacked, then you're crazy. Because believe me, the devil does not take a day off. And these... These demons are scouring the earth looking to devour people. Do you understand? They're, they don't just give you a pass and say, well, that's a little kid. I'm going to give it a pass. The devil doesn't care what age you are. He wants to come in and get a hold of you. He doesn't want you praying with your family, and he doesn't want your little kids saying prayers and drawing pictures of Jesus and so on. He can't stand it. He's coming. Be on your guard. You stick with Jesus and he's going to lead you through it. And that's all I can tell you. That's where I'm at. I see what he's done with my life and my addictions. I bring it all to him. I'm going to let him sort it out and do the best I can. I just wanted to give you that. I felt to share that with you. So be careful, guys, because we're really in a, a true battle here. And you'll see once you leave this earth exactly what we were fighting here. All right. Peace, guys. I love you. May the blood of Christ protect you. God bless.